Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly energy reading. Uh, for those who of you who have been here before, welcome back. You know what to do. Uh, close your eyes and take a deep breath. And for those of you who are new here, do the same thing. So let's just close our eyes, take a deep breath, and center ourselves. So deep breath in. Release. And I want you to choose a card between one and three. So one, two, or three. First number that pops into your head. And open your eyes and let's begin. So the overall energy for the week is the judgment card in reverse. And what I'm getting from this is that this is a time of transition. This is a time of rising up. So this is a time of being able to see yourself for who you are. Um, I know with this Venus in retrograde energy, it, there is a whole mixed bag of energy coming at us right now. It is challenging to see through. It's challenging to see what the reality is. There's a challenging to see... Um, uh, retrograde planets spin you back into the past so there we're being challenged to um, kind of resolve what's already been going on in the past and to be able to jump forward into our present moment so retrogrades are often an opportunity to resolve old stuff um, and not the best time to transition and start things new. But what I'm getting from this is that we are transitioning through, we are starting to release baggage, and it's a time to rise up with this card. Um, if you chose card number one, we pulled the Seven of Cups. Um, the Seven of Cups read, read with the energy of the week. What I'm getting is that it is a time to um, like shake off shake off the um the fuzziness of things it's a time to get clear it's a time to make choices that resonate with you emotionally except what i'm getting is don't rush into these choices just take your time to let old things sort of shed away let old emotions and let old achiness sort of roll off um the energy body before you make these decisions um it's very um, what's the word? It's very uh, critical that you are using your emotional wisdom to make decisions opposed to emotional impulsiveness or um, emotional dreaminess. So um, it's important that when you're transitioning through to rise up, it's really important that you release and let go of um, any old emotions that may be attached to something that you are sticking yourself into. So if you're a uh, perhaps going into the direction of any relationship, it's a, it's important to release what was before. So the daydream of how a person might have been before, the daydream of how a job was before, um, and not even necessarily the daydream, but some of the haunts that were there from before. So past relationships that didn't serve. Don't think of them as they didn't serve. They've taught you a lesson. They were here for that. Uh, let that sort of baggage wash away before you move forward and make any um, substantial choices. Make sure that they're clear and make sure that you're not looking through the eyes of the past window. Uh, for those of you who chose card number two, we have the Child of Swords. And what I'm getting is that you've allowed curiosity to sort of wash over you and wash through you. And now you're kind of feeling a little bit stuck. There's a little bit of a jammed energy that you might be stuck in. Um, what's the next steps? What's the next phases? Um, what's the next progress in healing? What's the next progress? What's the next... Um, step in the journey what's the next step in the project what's the next steps that you're supposed to do so if you're experiencing any stuck energy just know that it's time to um, give a little bit of space to those feelings that you're feeling um, and not to judge yourself but maybe get curious about where that the stuckness is coming from and just explore it don't be over analytical in your approach but just explore it question things question um question is why you want to do things question um, what it is that you want to do and why it is that you want to do it so again whether that's in a relationship if you're questioning something new questioning your next steps your new phases um, what I'm what I'm getting is just 
try to use the wisdom that you've learned from the past to take forward to the next steps, but try not to take the judgment of the past. So it's very important for you to be able to see your next stages clearly, but are coming from a clear space within you. So make sure that you are making space to allow yourself to be open to what is coming up next, um, but make sure that it really resonates with you and it's not you're not jumping or rushing into things based on what past experience has taught you. This is a new free-flowing energy that's coming through. For those of you who chose card number three, we have picked the, magi the magician. Um, what I'm getting from this is in the past, if you've had intentions or things that you've been wanting to manifest and they haven't necessarily turned out the way you are, you're feeling like your luck is maybe sort of like you're sitting on the fence whether, you know, does what I want to manifest? Does it really work? Is it really possible? Can I expand my energy in a way that, you know, does this work? Or I'm kind of getting like, maybe this is a little bit of like a hokey pokey kind of um, feeling of energy that's around this. So like, is it hokey pokey to want to have my dreams? Does it feel a little bit hokey pokey to maybe the dreams themselves feel a little bit hokey pokey. Um, I know I keep using that word, but it's getting this energy of like um, this, it's almost like a lack of trust in yourself and a lack of trust in your skill because perhaps you're feeling a little bit jaded or wooed by um, things that have taught, but you, the way you've been taught about that in the past experience again. So just know that that old energy is flushing itself out. It's flushing yourself through. And if you're feeling like maybe you don't have the skills or the dreams or the wish, or you don't know how to like put that energy out into the world to bring in your manifestations, to, to um, start achieving your goals, to start aligning with that energy. Um, my suggestion is that, and I'm getting with this energy is, take time to find an approach that works for you. So, you know, some people work really well if you write all your goals down and you have a list of, you know, in the next three months, I want to achieve this. The next six months, I want to achieve this. In the next year, I want to achieve this. That way you can see the unfolding of things. And that way you can always go back and re-strategize, rework, and re-look at the way things have um resolved or unfolded for you in the past or you can start this now so that it can give you some hope and some guidance going towards your future. Um, if you're feeling like you are lacking in skill, um, there's tons of resources out there for you. It doesn't necessarily mean going back to school but dive in, talk to a friend, talk to somebody who's more knowledgeable and keen on the subject, somebody who can help you bring your manifestations into the world, somebody who can make your dreams a reality. Um, it's really important though with this card and the energy that I'm feeling right now is that you have to be the one who does the work. So you cannot rely on the people that you're asking for counsel or for guidance or rely on the book of knowledge. Double check your research. Double check um, Double check with yourself. Double check that whatever it is that you, the skills that you are trying to progress with, make sure that they resonate with you. They feel good with you and that way, when you do finally channel the energy, when you use what you have within you, that way you are channeling a clear message up to the divine saying, hey, look, I'm serious about this. Let's let's um, start doing the work. Let's manifest. Let's co-create together. So that's what I'm getting with um, for card number three, the reverse magician. Um, and that concludes the energy reading for the week. So thank you for joining me. I will be back next week to do another quick reading for you. I hope that you guys are enjoying these and it's super lovely to see you. Bye for now.